Alright people, welcome back. More card review. So uh, a couple of new cards got revealed for particular archetypes, one for Black Wings, Dino Miss, etc, etc. But uh, the card art looks like shit. Like, I think they just tucked us right out of some magazine, black and white, barely see it, it's just ugh. But uh, this is what we got so far for these cards, so I apologize. They even took the card arts and slapped them on YVO Pro and it just looks like shit. But hey, we're still going to review the card because it is a real card. So we're going to go ahead and do this. This ain't no fake card Friday. Even fake card, on fake card Friday look better than this. But ugh. So, um, yay, Black Wings. Another Black Wing card. That's... If you guys do not know, I'm not the biggest fan of Black Wings just because they have so much fucking shit. Like, they are probably the most supported and beloved archetype in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, it probably even more than fucking heroes. This is ridiculous. And it just seems like every single time we turn around, just more cards, more cards, more cards. Like, yeah, you may say Elements of Heroes, but I don't see fucking, you know, Jaden coming back for in uh, Arc V. Like, no. No, but Crow sure does, and Crow does like, hey, you know, I could play all them old cards that I used to have, but let me just go ahead and just have this new arsenal of cards, because why the fuck not? So, Konami can go ahead and create new Blackwing cards. So, uh, once again, we got another new Blackwing card, and it gets really redundant saying that another new Blackwing card, because holy fuck. So we're going to go ahead and review this card, tell them how good it is, and whether Blackwings will play it in their deck. You know? I think I already talked about it, but... There's like one person who's arguing with me, and it's like, oh, Black Wings need more cards because all their cards aren't great. So, every single card in an archetype has to be great for the archetype to be good? Like, no. Like, Black Wings won Worlds in, I think, 2008, and then I think topped and got, like, second place in 2009 or something like that. So, they, they've been there. Black Wings have lived their time. No, no, thank you, sir. So let's go ahead and look at this card before I just go and rant about Black Wings. So, this is uh, Black Wing Gofu the Haze Shadow. He is a level 5 dark wing beast tuner, tuner, uh, effect type monster, zero attack, zero defense, so hopefully he has some great effect, because no stats for a level 5, mm. uh, cannot be normal summoned or set, must be supposed to summon by your hand while you control, no monsters, alright, well, not the biggest fan of that at all, it's just, you know, if you if you have monsters already on the field and you draw into this, that's definitely a dead draw. And it's not like he has any stats. He can't be normal summon or set, so you can't even like tribute summon. You can't even do nothing. Like you're just stuck in your hand until you have no cards. I mean, no monsters on the field. But let's see if he's actually worth it. Uh, when this card is special summoned from your hand, you can special summon two hazy shadow tokens. The tokens are uh, wing beast, dark level one, zero attack, zero defense. Uh, these tokens cannot be tributed and cannot be used for a synchro summon. I don't like that. That sucks. Like, what are you supposed to do with the tokens then? I mean, I, I haven't read its, its last effect yet, but it's just like, wow. So, you summon the tokens, and they cannot be used as synchro materials, which you're generally going to use this for, because he is a tuner. But uh, let's go ahead and go to that second effect. Uh, banish this card and one or more uh, monsters that are not tuner monsters from your field, and target a black link synchro monster in your graveyard that has the same level as the monsters combined. Brush summon that monster and treat it as a tuner. So, instead of Synchro Summoning from your extra deck, you're Synchro Summoning from your graveyard? Like, okay. So, pretty much, let's say, for example, you have uh, Armor Master in the graveyard. Special Summon this guy, he'll summon two tokens. You're going to Graveyard Synchro Summon, so instead of being like, well, I'm going to go ahead and sync my level 5 tuner and my two level 1 monsters, you're kind of going, alright, I'm going to banish him and the two tokens, banish them from the field, target my Armor Master in the Graveyard, and summon it. And then, it becomes a tuner! Ooh, and I, you're probably wondering, like, oh, well, why would I ever want to make my Blackwing Synchro Monster a tuner? Uh, in the show, and I don't believe this card has is, is been confirmed for an actual card, but in the show... Um, Crows takes it a step farther and actually, uh, Synchro Summons into a level 12 monster using, uh, this play right here. I believe he, like, summons this and tributes off, then summons one of his Synchro Monsters a tuner, summons another Synchro Monster, and then bam, goes into his level 12 Synchro Monster, and I believe wins the duel because of it. So, yeah, he, he wins the duel against, what, Shun, I think, I want to say? So, that's what you're supposed to do. But as of right now, <laughs> you know... Like, I mean, if you can go into that crystal meth, if you really can, like, summon this, you know, tribute off to summon a level uh, level 7 synchro monster, it's treated as a tuner, then summon a level 1, and then, there you go, because I believe it's like, what, it's a tuner, no, it's a tuner and then a non-tuner synchro monster, never mind, you can't even go into crystal meth, 
Because your tuner, that would be a tuner synchro launch. That's like, that's, you turn your shit into like four music guys. You can't even do that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. And it would be nice. I get it. They're like, oh, well, you're supposed to, it's promise is to summon from graveyard. But it would be nice if you could use the tokens as synchro materials. So you would at least have a choice. Like, if I'm going to play this guy, this level five guy that can't be normal summoner set, it can only, uh, must be first special summon from my hand while I control no monster. If I'm going to do that, can I at least, you have a choice, like, hey, if I want to go ahead and summon one of my uh, Black Wing Synchro Monsters from the graveyard, sure. If I want to go ahead and uh, Synchro Summon from Max Dragon, sure. Because he'd be a, a pretty much a one-card Synchro Summon. He really would. Your special summon. Some of the two tokens, you can go Sync 6 or Sync 7. And just make it so he has to Synchro Summon into, you know, a Black Wing uh, Synchro Monster. That'd be, he'd be a one-card Synchro Black Wing. Let's go. But, no. So, he's, like... Mid to late game, early game, terrible draw, terrible to start off with. He ain't doing shit for you. I'm just not sure if I would see Blackwings play. I mean, maybe it depends on how good that level 12 guy is uh, when he comes out in TG, if he ever comes out. But it's just, yeah, you know, it's like, I summon, I let me get this straight. I, I, I do this really locked up play just to monster born one of my Blackwing Circle monsters. Or Call of the Haunted, really. You could just play Call of the Haunted, and then I get the benefit of turning into a tuner. Meh. Really. Like, instead of that, like, instead of just dead drawing this, and then just being like, well, I can't really play it until I could, I control no monsters, I would just rather just play Call of the Haunted and just Call of the Haunted the Synchro Monster back. So, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of this, and I, I guess this is considered one of the Blackwing cards that isn't good. So, of course, Blackwings need to keep on getting shit until they get it right, right? Because they're just so fucking trash that they need every single card to be perfect, right? No. So, uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys think about Gofu in the comment section below. So, uh, like I, said, I think the card reviews are going to be like this for a while. I, I'm waiting for them to get a better... Uh, presentation of these cards, but for right now they're just ugly. So, uh, seeing a Dino Mist, a Shira Nui, uh, a Buster Blader card, a uh, Moonlight card. So, there's, there's a nice chunk of cards to go ahead and look at. So, at least we finally got some new cards to talk about that are might just fall into the wayside and keep things fresh and new here on Card Review. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. See you guys on Wednesday with another one of these cards to look at. I'll decide accordingly. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.